How the hell would you sew two bits of fabric together? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now today I thought it would be quite fun and slightly intimidating to take a journey into sewing. So I found this little sewing machine. It was quite like this cheap little thing because I've been thinking about getting a proper sewing machine, like a full on fancy expensive sewing machine, even though I don't know how to work them. But I would really like to learn. And I think this thing that I'm gonna be trying today will give me some indication of whether that's a good idea or not. I'm gonna dip my toe into the water before I completely launch myself into the sea when it comes to sewing. It's a nice metaphor, I like it. It's how I'm describing it, and that's what I'm doing today. Okay, so this is a little sewing machine that I bought, and it's a handheld sewing machine, portable mini sewing machine for beginners, cordless electric stitching machine with sewing accessories for clothing, curtains, crafts, home repairing, and DIY, brackets black. Just had enough breath for that sentence. And this cost me 13 pounds and 99 pence, which is incredibly cheap for a little sewing gadget. Looking at the pictures, it looks like you've basically got everything you need for a sewing machine or for like a little one to get you going. I don't think it's going to have anything fancy and I don't know what kind of stitching it's going to be able to do. But from the pictures it looks quite promising. It looks like it's it stitches stuff and sews stuff. It says that it's easy to use, it's got multiple applications, it's lightweight and portable, convenient, and it's ideal for a gift. And as you can see, there are quite a few different kinds of like hand sewn machines and stuff. And I don't know why I chose this one. It's probably the first one that got recommended to us. So what can this sewn machine do? The small sewn machine starts working just when you press the button, the operation is quite simple and convenient. It doesn't tell us what it can do. Okay, you can use it on lots of different kinds of fabrics, which is nice. It has very detailed instructions and it's ideal for beginners, which I obviously appreciate. This is a single thread sewing machine, so you have to tie a knot by yourself. I don't know what that means. That must be some sort of like sewing lingo that I'm out the loop with. Please wait a moment when the battery get too hot. Too hot? I don't want the batteries to get too hot in it. So it's basically saying if the batteries get too hot, stop, otherwise it's going to explode. <laughs> Okay, well obviously I assume this product's been made in China or a country similar to that because a lot of the translations are just a, just a tiny bit off, but I'm not, I'm not gonna slag that off because I'm not a mean person. <laughs> right, let's have a look at some reviews. Overall, it's got pretty decent reviews. It's got 4.7 out of five, and that's from 892 reviews. Mr. Ben Aitken gave it three stars, said it works, but it's not pretty. It only goes through two pieces of thin fabric, despite saying it goes through denim. It's really hard to keep the line straight. It might be good for quick hems but now else. I think this is basically going to be a thing that you're just going to have kind of lying around the house for emergencies like just in case your trousers are too long or I don't know any other examples of when you need a sewing machine and you quickly need to make a pillow because you've got family coming round. I think they're the reasons why you would have one of these. Emergency sewing machine. Nali Amir gave it five stars and said that it's a handy sewing machine. Oscar gave it five stars, said it's faster than hand sewn, which I like as well because there's been a few times where I've had to hand sew something and it takes so long. So the fact that this is quicker, I like it. Okay, so this is what the little sewing machine looks like in obviously its package. And there's definitely a few mistakes on the box. And it also looks like something that you would get out of like a catalogue in the 1990s. It looks, it just looks really, really bad. But I'm not going to criticise that, even though I already have. It does say that it repairs delicate fabrics like silk and it sews through denim. But based on the reviews, we all know that it's talking out of its ass. I don't think it does any of that. I think this is just a very basic plain sewing machine. It's for emergency cushions. Apparently Mary Beth Hoyt said that it makes sewing fun, fast and easy. I don't know who that person is, so I don't know whether I can take their word for it or not, but if that's a proper person who knows their stuff, then they've either gave them that quote or they've stolen that quote because yeah, it is made in China. Okay, let's open it up, see what it's like. I'm also not threatened by this. It doesn't feel scary or anything like that. Oh, well, hang on a sec. Just seen some little bits that scare us. Okay, so this is the sewing machine here. That's so weird. It's arrived and it's already got a bit of like sewing attached to it. Is it meant to do that? Or has someone like used this and returned it? It's very weird. Ah oh, well, it's fine I suppose. These instructions are surprisingly small for a sewing machine. I was expecting to get like a massive pamphlet. I'll have a little read of this just so I kind of know what I'm doing and then we'll figure it out. Well straight away the first line on this, it says that operate the machine for 10 seconds and then pause for 5 seconds. 
seconds, it can then be used again regularly. So does that mean I'm only allowed to use it in 10 second intervals and then have to wait? That can't be right. It seems very dangerous. I don't have a lot of confidence in this product. I feel like it'll explode in my hand. Oh, I can't be bothered to read all these. <laughs> The thing is, I've just read all those instructions, and it may as well be in like a different language. I've read them all, and it's just gone straight over my head. Nothing, literally not a single word of what's in here has registered in my brain. It's about like arms and rotary wheels and bobbins and stuff, and I don't know what they're talking about. I'm much more of a hands-on learner, so I'm just gonna put some batteries in and then just play around with it and see, see if I can figure it out. I also don't think I have enough batteries. I think this takes four. How the hell do you open this? <sighs> I can't open it. Ah. Ah, there we go. Yeah, four batteries. Damn. What have I got in the studio that has batteries in that I don't need? All right, give us a second. I'm going to hunt around the house and see if I can steal some batteries out of a remote. <laughs> okay, I've pinched them out of a remote, so don't tell anyone and remind us to put them back. So this is the lock and unlock. It's supposed to be the power switch. Does this even work? It's not doing anything. Oh, I've just realized you can plug it in as well. It's got an adapter to it. I don't need to plug it in as well as use batteries, do I? No, that doesn't make sense. I don't understand how you're supposed to work this. Oh, and that op oh, okay, that opens it up like that. Maybe it's my batteries are dead. Hang on, I've got an idea. I've got a plug around the back there, and I'm assuming it won't need batteries if you plug it into power. I think these batteries don't work. I'm not giving up, because I want to know how to sew. <laughs> Ah, carbon bits of plastic off this. I cannot open this, it's impossible. I don't want to break my fingernails. There we go. Right, so one of these things has a plug. I think it's this. But where does the plug go? Ah, oh, it's like a million plugs down here. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so technically, if I plug this into here, it should work, even without batteries. It doesn't fit. Ugh. Why am I struggling at the, the first step, literally, of like power in the machine? Right, give us a few seconds and I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna try and find some better batteries and we will get this to work. I swear to God we will. Right, okay, I found two more batteries, so hopefully this should work. Ah, oh, I wasn't putting them in right, I don't think. Ah, oh, I'm such an idiot, I wasn't putting them in right. Ah, oh, you know, like, I'm so stupid. It's not even funny. I forgot batteries are, like, plus and minus, aren't they? <laughs> So angry with myself. This is why it didn't work. I assume this is why it hasn't worked anyway. Okay, this should work. These are the same batteries I had in last time, and I've just put them in the right way. Ah, there we go. I'm honestly, I'm just so angry with myself because oh, just, why? Why do I have to be so stupid for? Okay, crisis averted. Right, okay, so you hold this down and this is supposed to stitch. Oh. Oh. Oh, that works. Oh, that's cool. So then, say I wanted, I've got some fabric here. I'm just gonna do a little sample on some different fabric. And this is just regular cotton fabric. It's not fancy, it should easily work with this. So, where does the fabric go? I did something before where it lifted it. So this thing lifts that. How do I lift this bit up? So this bit here is called a fastening plate and I'm trying at the moment to lift it up so I can put my fabric in. Lift up the fastening plate, making sure not to push down on the needle. Oh, I just physically lift it up. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, so that just, oh yeah, so that just lifts up and I can put my fabric under there. Just wanna get my needle up. Right, okay, so the needle's up, then I just, I think I just put my fabric in, you know, and then it fastens. And then do I just start? Or do I need to pierce it with the needle first? Yeah. Is that sewn? Ah, oh, it is, it's sewing. Ah, oh, this is fab. Ah, oh, cool. Check me out. I'm a proper seamstress. So I want to try and sew two bits of fabric together. How would you get your fabric back off it though? Yeah. Oh, there we go. It was just a bit stuck for some reason. I don't know how I managed to do that. Yeah, but if you look at that, I don't know whether you'll be able to see it very well because it's white on quite a pale fabric, but I've sewed all the way around in a circle. And look, you can see that that's, that's, that's sewed. This is so easy. The thing is though, I feel like this is very automatic. Like I don't know 
how I'm doing it. I'm just pressing a button and it's doing it for us. I don't really understand the technology behind it. So if anything went wrong, I don't, I don't think I would know how to fix it. So I'm just hoping it continues to work and then I don't have to do anything. Right, let's try and sew two bits of fabric together. Cause that's one thing I was really interested in. But also I know on like a sewing machine, you can do different kinds of stitches. You can do like running stitches and I don't think I know any other stitches, but I know you can do different kinds. And I don't think this does any different stitches. I think it just does the one. And I assume you would just call it a running stitch. I have used sewing machines in the past, but if I ever got stuck, like I snapped a needle or anything, I wouldn't know what to do. I would have to just raise my hand and be like, teacher, help. Okay, so say I wanted to sew these two bits of fabric together. I would need to obviously lift the needle up. And then how would you put this into here though? I'll stitch it along here, see if that does it. Um, how do I make it go up? That's not sewing anything. It's a bit of a struggle this because it doesn't really operate like a proper sewing machine does. You don't have the space. How do I take it back out? That's, that's not what I wanted. I don't know how to release it. Oh there. I think that's released as slightly. There we go. Because I've sewed a little bit there on the corner, but the problem is it goes a long ways. You can't make it go up. So how do I change directions and make it go upwards? It always goes left to right. I don't think I can switch it to go right to left. Maybe. Do I have to go that way? No, because that's just the same, isn't it? How the hell would you sew two bits of fabric together? Oh, maybe. Hang on. I fold it like this. That makes way more sense, doesn't it? Try it like this. Yeah, I bet that's how you sew two bits of fabric together. I forgot you could just like fold the fabric in half. Oh, yeah. Uh, I feel like I'm getting the hang of this now. Okay, so I've sewed a pocket together. Look at that. That's where it jammed, so it's got a hole in it, but other than that, that could be, actually, if I turn it inside out, that could be a little hat. I've made, I've sewed a hat for a very, very small person. Obviously, the seam bit needs tidying up, but other than that, I'm pretty pleased. Sewing's a piece of piss. I don't know what I was worried about. It's so easy. So I think that's basically what this machine's for. It's just for like little stitching things like this. And it was surprisingly really easy to use once I figured it out. To be fair, I'll use this again. I really will. I think this is probably the most technical technological kind of advanced sewing I could do. I don't think I'm ready for a proper sewing machine yet. I think this is definitely beginner friendly and not too scary and my kind of thing. The only problem is when it runs out of thread or the needle snaps or it gets jammed or anything, I'll be pretty screwed because I don't know what to do. So obviously I've only played around a little bit with it. I didn't have any intentions on making anything substantial. I'm, I'm tempted to make a cushion now, an emergency cushion, but what are my overall thoughts on this little handheld sewing machine? I'm I'm gonna have to give it four baby hats out of five because I thought it was quite a clever little invention. It did take me a while to get the hang of it, but that's because I'm an idiot and I don't know how batteries work. But other than that, as soon as I started, it was a piece of piss. It was so easy and it didn't overheat. It didn't explode in my hand. But let me know what your thoughts are on this little sewing machine down in the comments below. But beginners who wanna really try sewing, especially for the first time, I think this is a great stepping stone. I really do. I'm really into it, actually. I didn't think I was gonna be, but I made a hat and whenever I make a hat or something like this, I'm instantly pleased with myself. But if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next week for a brand new video.